like cyberpunk vibe to it. So I want to capture that. <laughs> it's not very... It's not exactly the most... There we go. Yeah, that's a skirt. Then... There we go. Games. Oh, Anna. Yeah, no. Take a leave stream for a while. No, you are never required to be on stream. You are never required to, like, you know, always take up your modly duties or whatever. You know, if you're not feeling well, if you want to chill out, chill out. You don't have to ask for my permission either, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I did watch. Oh, let me get back to the super chat. I don't want Kaylee to, like, feel like, oh, I forgot about um, them. So, let's see. Okay, Kaylee Owens. Uh, yes, so... Congratulations on trying on deciding to make your own object show. I think that object shows are incredibly creative. They require a lot of production value, animation skills, um, digital editing skills, all of those, sometimes music too. Like all of those are a lot of skills that are useful for you in the future. And I wish you the best in making it. Battle for Starlight Land sounds very cute. It reminds me of Kirby games. And I think that would be adorable if it's very cute. But if it's um, really cool, that's cool too. Um, and then congratulations on your custom plus. I don't know what budsies.com is, but uh, these days I do sew my own clothing. So I think that I'm looking forward to when I'll be able to, to uh, making my own custom plush. Actually, my favorite Pokemon is actually Jump Bluff. And I've been looking forward to making my own Jump Bluff plush one day. Because from what I can tell, like Game Freak, the people that make the Pokemon games, has only ever released one official like Jump Bluff plush. And it's no longer available, like it's been discontinued. So if I want a Jump Love plush, I'm gonna have to take up the mantle and do this myself. <laughs> yes, but thank you so much. Um, yeah, have a, have a nice day, Anna. See you later. Okay, X N D U I W. Thank, oh, thank you for coming back. I remember you too. <laughs> I think you're the one that was making the Roblox games, right? Which I think are also really impressive. I mean, you know, learning programming, especially like having your own passion for programming, that's awesome. Um, let's see. New update for the same testing place introduced the Degtiarov DP28 and the Barrett M82. The link is bit.li1. Um, I'm sure that they'll be able to find the game. Like you have some videos of it on your channel, right? Uh, and I will get, I don't know what those names are, but I'm going to guess they're different types of guns. I'm not very familiar with guns. I never, like, played Call of Duty or, uh, I played some Halo, but I don't think it, Halo is going to be very useful for it. Let's see. I'll start, I'll keep the blimp for now, and I'm going to make some buildings in the background. 